What's up guys and welcome back to another video and today I want to talk about the best form of exercise for fat loss. Now when I was younger I hated doing cardio to be honest so I just used to lift weights. Uh, I would lift weights and when I wanted to get lean um, I would stick to a calorie deficit and that would be my strategy for getting lean but that's not something I recommend anymore and that's not something that I do. Um, and the reason being is because um, lifting weights by itself doesn't actually burn that many calories. Um, it depends whether you're training legs because if you, it, or, or arms. Like if you're training legs, you're obviously gonna burn a lot more calories than if you're just doing an arm session. And then there are other variables such as intensity, volume, number of sets. Uh, you know how hard you're training but compared to cardio lifting weights really doesn't burn that many calories um so after a few years when i figured this out i was like okay well james you're gonna have to do some form of cardio uh, so i eventually settled on the bike i would do the spin bike uh, or low intensity on the assault bike and i would just do anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes every day and this was a more effective strategy um, but when I started working with a coach, um, he just said, why don't you just take more steps? And it sounds very simple, but this for me has been, without a doubt, the most effective strategy for fat loss and for getting lean, uh, for a number of reasons. The first reason, and this is probably the most important, is that I can do it anytime, any place, anywhere, uh, and there's really no friction like I'm doing it <laughs> right now whilst I make this video uh, and I'll often do this to be honest I'll often walk up and down here or in the front garden as well um, the thing is where I live in Bali um, there's no pavements on the roads and the roads are quite manic so it's not the safest or most enjoyable place to be walking around um, I could go to the beach but the beach is like a five to ten minute drive away <laughs> I know that sounds so privileged but again it's more friction okay it's not far to drive to the beach but it's more friction it's not something I can do multiple times a day whereas I'll often just accumulate steps throughout the day uh, maybe I'm on a call or maybe I'm watching a YouTube video or whenever I want to listen to an audiobook or something like that I'll get some movement in whilst I'm doing it Actually, after eating a meal, sometimes I'll just try and make an effort to at least spend five, ten minutes walking because walking after a meal has been shown to improve insulin sensitivity, uh, improve nutrient partitioning, but I also just helps. I just find that it helps with my digestion and feeling fullness and actually feeling satisfied as well. Sometimes after I eat, especially when I'm cutting, I'm still hungry. And I'll just take a few steps after a meal and that hunger or those cravings will go away. Uh, the next reason why um, I think walking is the best form of exercise for cardio is because I can do it outside. So for example, right now uh, I'm getting the sun on my skin. So it's obviously great for the health, um, but also I can do it you know, barefoot say if I'm walking on the beach or if I'm walking on grass and barefoot connected to the earth this is how humans are supposed to be okay go back 10,000 years for the whole of the human evolution we would have been barefoot connected to the earth it's only very recently in very recent times you know that we've been wearing shoes and we're not designed to be wearing shoes or living in houses you know we're designed we'd have, we would have walked quite a lot we would have been barefoot connected to the earth the vast majority of the movement that we would have done would have been walking and um, maybe we would have done some sprinting say if we're trying to catch an animal or you know not get eaten by a predator but we would have spent a vast majority of our time walking we're literally designed to walk it's great for the physical health but it's also great for the mental health as well I find that I get some great ideas when I go on a walk and um, sometimes when I just feel like I need to clear my head the first thing that I do is I go for a walk 
Um, so it's great for creativity, it's great for peace of mind. It's very healthy to do. And it's surprisingly effective as well because I can slowly accumulate um, this activity throughout the day. Okay, it doesn't really feel like I'm doing it, any form of activity right now. But if you, if I was to do this, um, you know, I could do this for hours. Okay, so it's very low impact, it's low stress. Uh, I used to do some kind of like CrossFit style workouts uh, a few years ago, uh, and they would be great, a lot of fun actually, but so impactful on the joints, and that would um, reduce it. It would just impact my recovery times and impact my lifting and um, whereas walking I can literally walk for hours every single day and I'm gonna sleep well at night I'm gonna recover well it's not gonna affect my lifting in the gym and it's super effective like if you were to just not change anything in your current uh, training and nutrition if you were to keep everything exactly the same and assuming that you're eating a, a uh, at maintenance right now your calories are at maintenance and the only variable that you changed is you added in an extra 10,000 steps those 10,000 steps would equate to an extra extra 500 calories burned okay that would be an extra 500 calorie deficit if you were to do that over the long term and um, walking is very sustainable um, you could literally walk yourself to single digit body fat it really is that simple guys you know, we all know how to walk. We can do it anytime, any place, anywhere. It's great for the mental health, great for the physical health. It's great for digestion. Walking is definitely the best form of exercise for fat loss. Try it. Let me know how you get on. Talk to you in the next one.